What up, YouTube? She got T Swain. They talk about um, things to consider before getting into expediting. So a lot of people have been asking me questions lately, and um, you know, commenting and stuff, and sending me messages. And um, you need to really decide whether this is for you or not. You need to do some research. Do your research before you jump into this. Before you buy a van, please do your research. Research, 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 research as much as you can. You know, uh, when you get your van, you need to already know how you plan on making money with that van. Are you gonna sign up under somebody? Are you gonna start your own, uh, uh, get your own MC? You know? You need to figure out how you're gonna make money with your van. You need to figure that out before you spend money on the van. You know? Also, if you're driving up under somebody and they don't get you that many loads, you need to get another option. You know what I'm saying? You need to have uh, uh, more than one, uh, 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 like I guess, source of loads coming in because you want to get your money. You don't want to be sitting somewhere waiting on one person, waiting on one company, and then they all, all they send you is, is one load. You get one, maybe two loads a week. Now nah, you need to have multiple, multiple options coming in. You know, sign on with another company so they both can be contacting you. You know. Get some load boards. You got your own MC, the load boards. Now you got those two companies calling you and you got access to load boards. So now you can negotiate stuff yourself and you got other companies looking for you, you know? You sign on, you fill out carrier packages, you get one, you get one of the companies, you hitting them up, telling them you're available and see what they got for the day. You know? Don't put all your, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, you know, figure out if this is for you. Do you like driving? If you don't like driving, this is not for you. Can you sleep in your van? Are you comfortable with sleeping in a vehicle? You know, driving somewhere for a long period of time and then getting there and then having to sleep there because the delivery is the next day. Sleeping in the van, can you do that? If you know somebody that does this or somebody in your family is a truck driver, ride with them, see if it's okay for you to ride with them and then, you know, spend a night sleeping in the truck and see how the life is before you come out of here and you don't like it. But you didn't invest in it and spent your money and you got a note and you got these other responsibilities. You know? So think about that. You know what I'm saying? These are things you need to consider. Uh, so I just wanted to put that out there. Make sure that this is for you and that you have a way to make money with your van. You know? Try to have multiple ways of making money with your van. Alright, and uh, that's all I got to say for today. Man, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you uh, if you want to hit me up with some more knowledge, man, it's a little one-on-one, -on -one. man, reach out to me. My Instagram is in the description. Uh, Swint 10 Transport, Cash App, you got to send me some money to pay me for my time. If you want some more details and uh, some things that can help you out. Uh, if you're in the business and having trouble, or if you want to get into the business. You know, I've been doing pretty good since I've been in it. Been in it. So hit me up. Once again, T-Swain, I'm out.